everybody, my name is Stephanie Carroll and I am a writer of historical women's fiction. I am the author of A White Room and The Binding of St. Barbara, two novels which I am currently seeking an agent and publisher for. Today I'm making, I'm doing a book review on Building Plots, Building Better Plots by Robert Kernan. This is the book. I think I should stop calling these little videos book reviews and start calling them book recommendations because I don't really ever talk about books I don't like. So I'm really not reviewing them, I'm recommending them and then telling you why. So this is a book recommendation for Building Better Plots. Great book, I learned a lot from this book. I highly recommend it to anybody who wants to write strong fiction. Let me read the inside jacket copy for you. Great stories, however distinctive, have one thing in common, a compelling, believable plot. This interactive guide explores the principles that compromise a well-constructed plot and teaches you how to incorporate these principles into your own work. You'll learn to develop your story idea on the basis of a planned arc that plots your narrative's events from dramatic exposition to fulfilling re resolution. Once you have created a solid outline, Crinan knows you know you so once you have created a solid outline, Kernan shows you how to piece your story together using a 3x5 card system you can tailor to suit your own needs and ideas. Along the way, you'll evaluate your story's plot through quick exercises, charts, checklists, and quizzes. To illustrate every point, Kernan features examples ranging from the Hamlet of Casablanca to primary colors and also includes several common plot archetypes you can study and borrow from. There's even a complete tutorial that walks you through writing your story from beginning to end, addressing issues such as subplotting, characterization, conflict, and more. Whether you read this book from cover to cover or use it to troubleshoot problematic elements in your writing, Building Better Plots is your essential guide to building better stories. Robert Kernan about the author. Emmy Award winning author Robert Kernan has written for television, film, radio, and print, and his successes include several children's television projects and eight screenplays. Many of his writing projects have been optioned by independent producers and his short film, Driven to You, was developed into a feature. Currently, Kernan works as a producer at Web TV Networks. He lives in San Francisco, California. The back cover says a one-of-a-kind reference for creating stronger plots. Plot is the key to great storytelling whether you write short stories, novels, or screenplays. You need to master the elements of structure to make your work compelling. In this interactive guide, Emmy award-winning writer Robert Kernan provides you with a hands-on approach to planning and writing your own great plots. Fill in charts, quick quizzes, timelines, and a complete plot tutorial enable you to construct a strong narrative arc while showing you how to unify your writing through devices such as subplot, theme, and setting. To inspire new ideas, Kernan includes profiles of nine traditional plot archetypes and illustrates his instruction with popular examples of great plotting from Macbeth to Raiders of the Lost Ark. More than a basic how-to book, Building Better Plots is your versatile, multi-purpose writer's companion. Let it inspire you to write your way to stronger, more resonant stories. Praise for Building Better Plots. William Kelly, Academy Award winning author of Witness says, an excellent effort to put plotting in its place, first place. Millard Kaufman, multiple Academy Award winner, nominee, and award winning author of the screenplays Rain Tree Country, Take the High Ground, and Bad Day at Black Rock says, an enormously helpful book. The strength of Robert Kernan's work lies in his ability to organize the elements of a strong story and to convey them in language that both the novice and veteran will find stimulating. So I learned a lot from this book. It was the first book that really I learned a lot about plot arc, plot structure, and archetypes. Uh, when I first started writing, I was one of those writers who thought, I don't want to learn about archetypes or plot structure because I want to come up with something unique. Well, in reality, all stories have components that they need, and you're gonna, you already know archetypes, because archetypes are in everything that we watch and read. So, you can't avoid them, you can't hide from them, and generally, if you try not to use them, then you're probably going to create confusing and bad plotting. 
So it's better just to know it, understand it, and use it because these things really work. Here is the table of contents after the introduction. Section 1 is called the building materials of plot and it includes chapter 1 is the narrative. Chapter 2 is plot structure. This is where you learn about story arcs, the basic components of plot. Chapter 3 is inciting incident. That is the event that starts your story. Chapter 4 is rising action. That's kind of like the middle of your story. It's like the, all the obstacles and problems that your characters have to face. And chapter 5, the climax. That's the big moment in your book, the big bang moment, thing that everything's been leading to. And resolution. That's, you know, the end. Happily ever after. Section 2 is called building the plot. Chapter 6 is called Using Plot Archetypes. Archetypes are those things that um, people say stories are repeated over and over in time. Uh, those are archetypes. Like you have the revenge story and the rebellion story and the, you know, the Messiah story, which isn't always about Jesus, but like about a kid who has mysterious patronage who finds out he's the one and has to go on a quest to save his family. That's the Messiah uh, archetype. It's used in Harry Potter, The Matrix, Star Wars. Um, and those are the things that I was talking about. You know, those are ingrained in our entertainment culture, so you can't avoid archetypes, and so you might as well learn about them and know what they are so that you can do different things instead of trying to recreate the wheel, as, or whatever the expression is. Chapter 7, Creating Characters and Backstory. Chapter 8, Constructing an Outline. Chapter 9, Subplots. Chapter 10, Deepening the Story's Resonance. And Chapter 11, Tutorial. There's also a glossary and an index. Now, reading plot books about technique, a lot of people get into this debate of, you know, should you try to mechanically plot a book or should you let your creative juices flow and just let it happen naturally? Really, that depends on you as a writer how you want to do it. Some people like to outline and be organized. Some people just like to be free-spirited and let it go. I'm personally an organized outliner and that's how my mind works. But I actually have to say that, you know, even though that's how my mind works, I was also that person who was afraid to create stereotypical or cliche stories. So I avoided learning about plot and archetypes. But having now learned about it, again, it, it's not something that you can bury your head in the sand and avoid. You can't hide from plot structure and archetypes. This is just part of, you know, learning the rules so you can figure out how to break them well. You gotta be an expert if you want to be a good writer. So even if you want your story to be unique, I suggest at some point learning about plots uh, the least it will do is give you, you know, uh, an understanding so that you make sure you don't repeat creating the wheel or whatever. Because, honestly, if you don't learn about it, that's what you're going to do. I free wrote my story and didn't try to plot it. I didn't outline, but I didn't plot it intentionally. But really, all, all good stories have the same basic components. That's the stuff in the plot arc, the story arc. And then... A lot of stories end up being kind of a repeat of stuff that people have already done. Archetypes. Why? Because those are what work. Those are good stories. Those are components of great stories. But just because something is an archetype doesn't mean that it's going to be cliche. Would you call Star Wars, Harry Potter, and Matrix cliche? Are they all alike? No. They're very unique movies. So just because you follow archetypes or just know about archetypes doesn't mean that you're not going to write creative stuff. Actually, what it's going to do is give you an opening to get even more creative because you know what others have done. So that's my little uh, speech on my soapbox of uh, why you should learn plots. And this is the book that I recommend to do it. Helped me out a lot. I really enjoyed it. So that's my book recommendation today. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about my fiction, go to www.stephaniecarroll.com that's spelled with two R's and two L's, dot net. And I hope you read my, my blog and check out more of my reading recommendations because I make a lot of them. Thanks for watching.